2023 was one of the hardest years of my life and I know that sounds really dramatic. Are you giving up on acting or LA? I moved out of LA. What's up beauties? Uh, if you're new here, my name is Melissa Don Johnson. I am an actress, writer, and photographer living and working in LA up until about two weeks ago. <laughs> um, yeah, I hope that you stay tuned to hear the whole story. But this video is all about me moving out of LA. Um, so don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get into it. I have my laptop here. It's pink, obviously, um, so that I can actually answer all of the questions. I also posted on my Instagram to see if people had questions, but that might actually have to be in a part two video, um, depending on how long this goes. <sighs> but yeah, let's get into it. I, um, I have literally lived in LA for 10 years, and I love it. I consider it home, um, but... It's 2024 and I just needed a change. So um, I guess that brings us to question one, why? Um, I am basically going on sabbatical. Uh, that's what I'm calling it. And people are like, are you a professor somewhere? How are you going on sabbatical? No, I'm not a professor, but like, I'm just, I'm using the word sabbatical because I feel like it, it best encapsulates this idea of like me going somewhere for rest and restoration and regrowth. Um, 2023 was one of the hardest years of my life, and I know that sounds really dramatic, um, but I'm no stranger to trauma or heartache or um, tough times, so when I say that it was one of the hardest years of my life, even after being, you know, the child of abuse and, like, traveling cross-country alone and, like, all the things that I've been through, like, 2023 did it for me. Um, I won't go into the details of it, but basically, like, I just feel like it completely changed me as a person. Um, like, I feel like on a cellular level, <laughs> a different person. And I've done a lot of healing, but I still feel like I have a lot of healing and growth to go. Um, and unfortunately, LA no longer felt like a safe place to do that. Uh, so I, and then the film industry right now, um, the film industry right now is so slow because no one was sure whether or not IATSE was going to go on strike. Um, and even though as I'm talking to you right now, uh, they have reached an agreement and they're voting on the contract. When I made this decision, it seems very clear that, that the film industry wasn't going to be like up and popping for a while. There wasn't much work to be had. Um, and a lot more people out of work than was normal, even though the I had actors and writers strike ended like quite a while ago. The industry didn't really bounce back like we thought it was going to. Um, so right now seemed like the perfect time is long story short. Um, and so, um, yeah, that that's kind of why I made the decision. Um, so I moved out of my apartment with my roommates. I put all my stuff in storage and then I decided to do a cross country road trip with one of my best friends, um, which brings me to question number two. Where are you going? Um, drum roll please. I decided to move to Atlanta. <laughs> um, just like when I came to LA and I'd never been west of Tennessee, I've actually never been to Atlanta, Georgia before. Uh, but in terms of the big film markets in the US, number one being LA, number two being New York, Atlanta is number three. Um, and I've never been. And so I decided to come and check it out. Um, ironically, I'm not actually currently in Atlanta right now, but I'll get into that. <laughs> Um, so yeah, I have a friend who actually used to live in LA, uh, really close to me and we were really close and hung out all the time. And then she moved to Atlanta because she was booking so much more work there and, um, I was sad to not have her. So I'm living with her right now, which is super fun. And I'm so excited to be spending more time with her and creating with her. Like if you follow me on Instagram, please follow me on Instagram, um, all of my like, starting to take photos of myself and like get more into fashion and things and stuff is all because of her of Tanya so um I, I'm really excited to be creating with her again um but yes I mentioned that I'm not currently in Atlanta and that is because my hometown is actually in Virginia which is just a few states north of Atlanta um so uh yes I drove cross country with one of my best friends from California to uh, Atlanta. Actually, I think the next video in this series will be 
my road trip video because I did vlog and I also we also shot like a little road trip short in a style of Wes Anderson because we both love Wes Anderson so look out for that one um once it's up I'll link it in this video but yeah so we travel across country to Atlanta and then I like basically stayed in Atlanta for like a week and my friend that I'm living with it was actually I left LA on the 28th she got to LA on the 29th for like a business trip so I kind of missed her and since she had decided to extend her trip for her birthday I was like oh I'll just go and see my family so I drove from Atlanta Georgia up to Lynchburg Virginia which is where I'm from and I have been staying at my mom's house it looks so lived in because I literally I was like, I'm not sure if I'm going to be on sabbatical one month, two, six. So um, I brought a lot of stuff with me. And because I drove, I could just pack my car. So like a lot of the stuff that you see in this room is actually my stuff that just was in my car. And I kind of, I'm back to my mom's house in the guest bedroom um, since I'll be here for a couple of weeks at least. So yeah, and then um, one of my best friends is getting married this year and her bachelorette party is at the end of this month. So I will actually be headed up to New York in like two weeks and then um, meeting up with her, hanging out for a little bit, having dinner with her fiance. And then she and I will be flying to Denver, Colorado for her bachelorette party. Um, I don't know how comfortable her and her friends will be with filming because they're all mostly like doctors. Uh, so I don't know if I'll get footage, but, uh, if they're comfortable with it, I will vlog for the Bachelorette weekend and you guys will be seeing that as part of this moving vlog series that I'm doing. Oh, I, I didn't even say that. Okay, so one of my favorite series to watch on YouTube are moving vlogs. I don't know why, but, like, moving to new city, moving into college, moving to your first apartment, like, all of those kind of videos is just what I normally watch if I'm sitting watching YouTube, so I wanted to make my own since I knew I was going to be moving. So um, this is the intro video, as you can see, where I'll be answering questions and then you'll be seeing me leaving LA, you'll be seeing me road tripping across the country, you'll be seeing me moving into my friend's house. Um, not as much at my mom's house because like my littles are here and I don't like to put any of my kiddos on camera or anything. Usually if you see them, their faces are blurred out, you know, because I want to protect their privacy and their little lives. <laughs> um, but you'll probably see me taking the train up to New York, um, vlogging around New York. I went to school at Yale in Connecticut, so I'm hoping to take the train to the campus because I haven't seen some of the newer buildings in a while, so you may see some of that. The bachelorette party, and then I'll be coming back to Virginia. I know, so much travel in this where are you going question. Um, and I'm hoping to actually shoot a pilot during my sabbatical, which I know is not very restful, but like... I'm hoping that as I rest more and more, my like creative spark will be coming back and then I'll be excited and motivated to do these things. And there's like resources that I feel like I might have access to in my hometown that I might not anywhere else or in Georgia where um, I can shoot at non-union because it's a red work state. So I don't know, we'll see about that. But um, I did some vlogging actually today. I went to go visit my high school that I graduated from. Uh, and was talking to some people about maybe doing this pilot, so you'll definitely be seeing that later in the series, so look out for it. Um, and yeah, and then I'll be heading back to Georgia, seeing my friend, hanging out. And lastly, I just found out that my best friend may be coming up from Jamaica to New York for a research position for two months. And of course, if that happens, I'm headed up to New York uh, to spend time with her. Um, so yeah, that's a very long list of where are you going? Lots of travel happening during the sabbatical. Um, the next question is, are you giving up on acting or LA? No, guys, like LA is my home. Acting is my joy. It's what brings me alive, creating and storytelling. Um, I'm still with my agency. I'm still with, um, actually I just signed with a new commercial agency. Shout out to them. Uh, they don't want to onboard me until I get back in the city, though, so that's a whole other story. But, um, yeah, I'm still with my rep. I'm still with my team. I love them. They're still submitting me. They knew th they know that I'm going to be around and traveling, so I'm still doing auditions and things like that, which I guess the follow-up question is, will I still be doing the Audition Diary series? And yes, absolutely. I still have so much footage to edit, guys. Like, I'm literally, like, a year behind in terms of all of the auditions that I've done. <laughs> Um, and roles and stuff that I've done. So they will be coming soon. 
I'm also hoping with this rest will be renewed energy to get into the editing bay because all this stuff is shot. I just need to edit it so I can show it to you and start posting it. So fingers crossed, prayer hands crossed for me, please. That will happen. But um, no, not giving up on acting at all. I fully plan to go back to LA. Um, though the goal eventually is to be bi-coastal, working out of LA, New York, and maybe Atlanta, and then hopefully one day Canada. Um, but at the end of the sabbatical, I will be moving back to LA. I already have a place to stay with a friend, and then I'll be finding my own place. So then the next moving vlog for that series will be me moving into my own place for the first time. So I'm so excited about that. Um, so definitely look out for that video. Um, and then I guess the last question would be what's next? And um, short answer is I don't know. And I, I find that incredibly exciting because, um, you know, life can just get so tedious with like doing the same thing day in, day out, same expectations, like, um, just like the humdrum of daily life. And I, you know, you always hear that quote, if you want something new, you have to do something new, or like, if you want something different, do something different. And, you know, I've also been on this like crazy journey of like seeking God's face and like deeper intimacy. And I'm like, I haven't found what I've been looking for in the places that I've been. So I need to go somewhere where I've never been before. And so that's what I'm kind of doing. I'm just, I'm, I'm exploring the East Coast and seeing friends, but really mostly just taking downtime to rest and to study the word and to grow and to um, heal. And I, I firmly believe that when I come out of this, I'll have so much more energy um, and mind space so that I can be more creative and get back to doing the things that I love. Um, so yeah, short answer is I don't know. And I guess long answer is a little bit of everything. Um, but yeah, guys, that's kind of it um, for part one of this moving vlog series. Um, definitely look out. The next video will probably be me moving out of LA and then hitting the road for uh, our four day road trip across country. So definitely look out for that. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe so that you actually see the videos when they pop up. And once I get questions from Instagram, I'll be doing a part two for this video, but that's it for now. Um, I just want you to know that you are so seen and so loved, and I'm really glad that you're here. Uh, don't forget to drink your water and stay amused. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye. Bye.